Welcome. Today, we will be going through question 5 of the McLaurin Olympiad 2020. Let P and Q respectively be the smallest and largest prime factors of n. Find all positive integers n, such that P squared plus Q squared equals n plus 9. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Rearrange the equation to be p squared minus 3 squared plus q squared equals n. What do you know about the difference of two squares? And what do you know about n? Hint number two, provided that we've already looked at the case n equals p equals x, we can write n to be pqx, where x is a positive integer, and then we get p squared minus 3 squared plus q squared equals pqx, or p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 plus q squared equals pqx. Hint number three plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 plus q squared equals pqx. What is special? Well, since the right hand side is a multiple of q, what's special about the left hand side? Hint number 4. So we have p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 plus q squared equals pqx. And since pqx is a multiple of q and q squared is a multiple of q, p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 is also a multiple of q. So we then have either p equals 3, which makes p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 0, or because q is prime, 1 of p plus 3 or p minus 3 is of the form k multiplied by q, where k is a positive integer. So which of p plus 3 and p minus 3 can be equal to kq? What do you know about p and q that can help you answer this? And similarly, what are the possible values for k? Solution. Firstly, we will go through the case when n equals p equals q. Then we can rewrite p squared plus q squared equals n plus 9 as 2p squared equals p plus 9. But using the quadratic formula, we find that this has no integer solutions. So we can now write n to be pqx, where x is a positive integer. And so we get p squared minus 3 squared plus q squared equals pqx, or p, p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 plus q squared equals pqx. Now we see that q divides the right hand side, so q must also divide the left hand side. And since q divides q squared, p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 is also divisible by q. And since q is prime, either q divides p plus 3 or it divides p minus 3. Now, since p is less than q, we either have p minus 3 is 0, which gives p equals 3, or p plus 3 equals kq. It cannot be um, p minus 3 equals kq where k is a positive integer, as p minus 3 is less than q. Now we also find the only value of k is 1. Now I'll leave it up to you to tell me why. Okay, so now we have p equals 3, or p plus 3 equals q. Looking when equals 3, 
we find p plus 3 multiplied by p minus 3 plus q squared equals 3qx simplifies to q squared equals 3qx and then that simplifies to q equals 3x. Now since q is prime we get q equals 3, x equals 1 and so n equals 9. Now looking when p plus 3 is q we find 1 of p and q is even and so p equals 2 which gives q equals 5 because 2 is the only even prime. We then get minus 5 plus 25 equals 10x, x equals 2 and so n is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 which is 20. We check that both of these are valid solutions and indeed they are. So we have two values for n. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.